What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I want to introduce you to the Juentech 5.5 inch monitor. This is a great way to check focus, framing, and even color. So let's dive deep and let's see what this monitor brings to the table. In the box, we get the monitor along with the included screen protector which is already applied. We also get an HDMI cable going to micro and mini. We also have a power cable for the Crane 2 and we have a sun hood. We also get a carrying pouch and a lint cloth. As we take a look around the monitor, you'll notice that we have two mounting ports, one on the bottom and one on the side for L brackets. We also have an HDMI in port and not an HDMI out port. So if you're looking for both HDMI in and out, this monitor may not be the one for you. Also, we get 330 nits of brightness, which is the standard. So if you're outside, I do recommend using the included sun hood. We also have a headphone jack, so that way you can monitor audio straight from your camera. On the back of the monitor, we have a battery mounting plate made for those Sony NPF style batteries. On the top of the monitor, we have the power switch, four function keys, and mode dial. Just by looking at this monitor, you can tell that it's thin, lightweight, and it can definitely fit in any camera bag. Now let's hook it up to the Crane 2. I actually have another accessory from Juentech, and that is the bendable pipe. One end attaches to the Crane 2 handle, and the other end attaches directly to the monitor via the quarter 20 inch port on the bottom. You can use this bendable pipe to help you hold the gimbal, and it allows you to orient the monitor in any way you want. Once that has been mounted, we can attach the HDMI cable going from your camera to the monitor. Then we can hook up the power connection cable. As soon as we turn on the Crane 2, we will have power to the monitor and you can switch it on using the power switch at the top. This monitor also features a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, meaning that you get a great definition between highlights, midtones, and shadows. We also have what it looks like to be an 8-bit color display. I didn't notice any color banding while looking at this monitor. Using the mode dial at the top of the monitor, I was able to access the menu. We have options like false color, zebras, focus peaking, and even a volume bar so that way we can check if we're peaking audio. Now I've been using this monitor with the Crane 2 for a couple of hours and I don't notice a significant decrease in battery life, so that's a good sign. You can also attach your Sony MPF style battery to the monitor, however if you're using the bendable pipe, it might not hold up as much. But as you can see here, it is. It might wear down over time, so just be careful of that. Of course, this monitor can be hooked up to many other rigs as well, such as the dual handle system and mini dual grip from Juentech. Overall, I do think this is one of the better monitors out on the market right now for this price, especially when using your Crane 2 gimbal. It just complements it and it's just so lightweight and it makes it a joy to use. So if you're interested in both of these products, go ahead and check out the links for them in the description box below. I can't wait to see what you create and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.